Sarah Spain, ESPN Sarah Spain, is uh, we're gracious, very gracious to still have you sticking around with us here to talk a few more topics. And inevitably, we're going to get to Trump here. So are you ready for this? <laughs> I'm going to do my best. Okay, so between Stormy Daniels and Karen McDougal, it's been a rough month for President Trump. Essie C uh, Cup, right? Essie Cup from Headline News used her platform to express her disappointment in the way Hillary Clinton stood by President Clinton in 1992 and said this about Melania. As first lady, she is an inherently important figure in American politics, and women are watching, particularly young women. Melania should do for this generation of girls what Hillary Clinton did not do for mine, and leave her jerk of a husband. All right, Sarah, it looks like the onus now fully put on Melania. Does she have a point? This is a tough one. I don't think the requirement for setting an example for young women and young boys, for that matter, sh should rest solely on the woman. There are so many troubling aspects of the allegations against our president that to focus solely on Melania and the role she should play in changing things is, I think, a little bit obtuse. I would also say when you look at the relationship between Hillary and Bill, whatever your belief is about monogamy or polygamy, an actually interesting fact, humans are one of the only animals on Earth that have polygamous and monogamous physical characteristics. Almost every other animal has one or the other, and that's how you know what they're oh. supposed to be. So we don't even know the way that we've evolved, whether we're meant to be monogamous. Wow. So for each couple, you get to decide what you want to do. And in the case of Bill and Hillary, it's clear that they're still together. It wasn't for the presidency. Um, so I think Melania has to decide for herself whether it's something she wants to forgive and accept and it's this marriage she wants to stay in. I don't think it's her responsibility to do something that sets up all. I think we need to make better decisions about who we're electing and what people we put in leadership positions if they're making the bad decisions. Amen. <laughs> you could <laughs> not have said it better. <laughs> well, yes. so, so truth, responsibility not on her. Is she a sympathetic figure in your eyes? I would say anybody who's uh, discovering this and particularly is in the public eye as it's becoming a uh, TV fodder and, and, and fodder for jokes is sympathetic in that way, but um, she's by no means a victim. This is her husband. She chose him and she, she knew chose what this she's life, and whatever for. choices she makes are entirely her own. So to me, like, in that sense, she's not off the hook. She actually holds a lot of similar views to Trump. She's a birther, which is despicable to me. So um, I, she's definitely not sympathetic, but I completely agree with what Sarah said in that it's not really for us to say what she should do. She's not here to set an example for all young girls. And it's definitely, the onus is definitely not on her. I would say not on her only. Personally, I do feel like there is a certain level of responsibility yeah, when you decide to be a leader of a country. Uh, and people can say, oh, she's stuck or she's trapped or whatever. <laughs> uh, this is a free country and she is choosing every day to stay That's married. She's mm -hmm. choosing every day to wake up and be the first lady. She can walk away at any point in time. That's a great and she's point. choosing to do it. And I think there is some level of responsibility that comes on that. Not just her though, but there, I think you do, there is level of responsibility. Yeah, and I, that's the one part that I do think is sometimes overlooked is, is, is she, should she be the focus? Probably not, but does she have a responsibility as the first lady in the White House to be a role model specifically to young girls out there? Absolutely, and I think that is that up to, look, for me, I'm never going to judge what someone should or shouldn't do in their marriage or their relationship. I feel like that's none of my business. Um, so to say she's doing people an injustice, maybe that's not true, but she has a role model. Yeah. Yeah. And I think you got to look at her viewer as such. Yeah, and like you guys say, it's very personal. Yeah. I totally personal. agree she has a role in it. I just worry about all the times that we tend to focus on the woman in a situation instead of the results that she might have as a result of the actions of a man. Yeah, I, spot on. Couldn't agree more. All right, well, it turns out most people do a little internet stalking mm -hmm. before going out on a date, <laughs> as they should. There's some debate as to whether or not that's okay. Well, in Style Magazine says, of course it's okay, and then she should absolutely research your date before you go out with them. Have you guys ever done a little <laughs> date stalking in the a past? Little? Yes. A lot. Yes. <laughs> you have Google to. is a very serious thing. Yeah, you have to research. Do you? Did you do that? I did. Mine was like less, there wasn't as much of the Instagram and the Twitter and the yeah. everything else. It was just the Facebook, old Facebook though. days. You could um, Facebook but that. I have a girlfriend who is currently, you know, hot on the Bumble trail, and she met a guy, they had Let's a date set up. Let's throw her name out up. there, no, I'm Yeah, just exactly. <laughs> hey, Kara, what's up, girl? Um, she went on a date with this guy, they had a great time, and so she decided to kind of check things out. Yeah. And his Instagram was legit making fun of old people, fat people, Ooh. talking about how much he hates kids, and oh she was gosh. like, okay, I would rather know Ooh. this now yeah, yeah, than yeah. have you put on this show for me and then eventually figure out that you're a bad dude. I think there's a limit 
you don't want to go too far down the rabbit hole because it's not going to teach you as much as interacting with someone, right. but you can at least do a little cursory research. Yeah. I'm too far down the rabbit hole kind of person. <laughs> I want to know it all. You guys know I do not sugarcoat She's when asking it comes about their credit reports, which is okay. <laughs> You should know the credit report, you guys. Here's and, wait, here's the thing. I'm an anchor reporter. I've worked for NBC, ABC, and Fox News, so my investigations go differently. I have sources. <laughs> right? Okay, I'm looking up arrest records. I'm looking up credit scores. I'm looking up. I'm going beyond <laughs> Social media. Thank God so she's taking everybody. We can yeah. watch it. That say. You're safe. We've yeah. already launched. And so, um, yeah, I think you just need to know these things to be aware. Recon. Well, from a male's perspective, I can tell you when I was single, and it wasn't to where it is now with the social media and how much you can research, but it was definitely off putting when a woman sat down on a date with me. It was like, oh, I was able to Google yeah. a lot and I did yeah. my research well, you on know, you. You don't admit it. Yeah, because yeah, then you're like this. I yeah, go exactly. <laughs> Why? What's, what's, on, what's in your record that I she know. Googled that you're walking away? I don't know. There was one guy I dated, and he said he was on the football team at the college he went to. And I started looking to see if he was any good, and I was like, not only not any good, no sign of him oh. on the team. Wow. <laughs> see, we're journalists. That's mm -hmm. what we do. Like, we want our research. We want to know what Better you're Better to about, just be honest. We're, we're going to find out I'm anyway. Gonna go, I'm going to be the contrarian here. I don't think it's a good thing. I think you should only research maybe, like, to see if they're a criminal. But find the other stuff out organically. You're too trusting. Man, People man. have this other family on the side. They got a bunch of kids. Oh, yeah, women are naturally like, no, 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 yeah. buddy. I want to make gotta sure. Do research these a days. lot of guys insta stock too. Like a lot of when I was going on a bunch of dates because I went on a bunch of them. <laughs> um, How did those go? Yeah. Not well, really not well. That's for another another morning. But um, a lot of guys would be like, "Well, you were. I saw you were there. I saw you were there. I was like, it did freak me out. You can't admit it. Guys. No, no, no. Yeah. You gotta play it cool. Play it cool. That, I think that's the ticket. Well, Sarah, we'd like to thank you for being here this morning. It was a lot of fun. We enjoyed having you. Can you promise you'll maybe come back and hang with us every now and Absolutely. again? Absolutely. As that schedule Please permits. <laughs> All right. Well, it's also, let's promote one more time what you've got going on for those. Yeah, two. if you go to tinyurl.com slash HTC18 or just Google Sarah Spain here, the cheers, you can donate to our cause. It's through the end of the month, and there's awesome prizes you can win, too. It's great stuff, Sarah. Thank you so much for joining us.